Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I have another layout for the Hip Kit Club, and this is my first layout using the 2016 July kits. And I'm gonna be scrapping these three black and white pictures of my little girl. And I'm just blown away by these beautiful, beautiful papers in the kit this month. It took me forever to decide where to start because Every paper that I looked at, I seriously was going, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, this one, that one, this one. So I finally just decided on this gorgeous watercolor abstract paper that Kim Watson designed, and I'm using one of Ashley Horton's heart cut files, and I just decided to make a bunch of different size hearts using this paper because it was just so pretty, and I, I just didn't want to cover it up. I just wanted to frame it and hang it on my wall, so I thought, how can I use this and still show the watercolor beauty of this? Um, so I thought, well, I'll just use a cut file and make some hearts. And you can still see the really pretty watercolor on the hearts. Now, this is another one of Kim's papers. It's called Ombre Sky. And it's very, very pretty. Um, I would say aqua bluish color. Starts darker at the bottom and then gets lighter at the top. And I'm going to use that for my background. And I'm just going to space these hearts out, kind of scattered around the page. And then um, I wasn't sure at first. I thought I might use my pictures in a little photo strip here. But then I thought I'm going to scatter those around the page too. So I'm going to cut those up. And they're just cute pictures of Paige. She was grinning and making her sweet little silly smiles and everything. These were from a few years ago, back when she still had her little baby teeth. She now has her two big adult teeth in the front, and she just looks so different. So I love all these pictures of her when she still had her little tiny baby teeth. But she looks cute with her big teeth, but, you know, they just change, go through all these phases, and I love going back and looking at these pictures when they were younger. Anyway, so I'm going to do some, su some uh, shimmers work here on the background. Now, if you've gotten the hip kits before, then you know that the uh, exclusive papers, they're a different uh, texture than some of the other manufacturer pattern papers. They're very thick papers. Whenever I cut uh, anything on my uh, Cameo with these papers, I have to turn my blade up because the papers are really thick. And they almost have a slick consistency to them. And so... um. They don't tend to warp as much as regular cardstock or regular pattern paper. So I didn't use anything on this. I didn't put any gesso down or anything. I just went for it. And I'm using three different shimmers here. One of them, the first one that I use, comes in this month's color kit. And it is the colorings in... Oh my goodness. It's that green color right there. What's the name of it? I'll think of it in just a second. The name just totally left my brain. I'm going to combine that with the Jenny B. Blue and the um, Oh Say Can You See. And those are all from past color kits. What is that green one called? It's called Don't Citron Me. There we go. It's right here in front of me. Why didn't I see it? Who knows? Blonde moment. Anyway, um, I just did the packaging technique here. And I'm just combining the, the colors to get different shades of greens and blues. Did some splattering there. And so I thought, you know, the hearts have a lot of pink in them, so I didn't really want to do anything pink in the background. And, um, you know, I just kind of wanted this to be kind of whimsical and, and uh, scattered looking, so that's what I'm going to do here. Now, since my background is blue, when I used the Don't Citron Me green, it kind of turned out a little bit on the yellow side, but I wanted to make it a little bit more of a bold yellow. So I'm going to use the Shimmers paints that also come in this month's kit. And this is one of their original Shimmers paints, and it's called Sunny. And these paints come to you already ready to go. You just mix them up when you take off the cap. And it's almost like there's blended up glitter in there, because when it dries, it is so shimmery and sparkly. It just it reminds me of glitter. It really does. It's so pretty when it dries. And the paint's thicker, too. So it's a neat uh, product to try. So I went through Kim Watson's die-cut pack here. These are exclusives. And I just picked out some things that I thought I might use. I wind up not using most of it, but I picked out two of the squares and used those as layers behind the top and the bottom picture. And then I'm going to play around a lot with different die-cuts. I change my mind quite a lot, and I think it's mainly because of the color of things. Um, I get to a point where 
I've got so much color going on in the background and the hearts that I feel like if I add too much more with lots of color, it just becomes too much. And you'll see that as I go. But for now, I'm just going to work in some thread here. I'm going to use several different color. Well, not several, but a couple different colors. I've got the dark pink going on. I've got the aqua and then some yellow. And of course, those are my three favorite colors that I always tend to go for. And they're the three main colors in this layout. The kits this month are so pretty. I don't know if you've seen them yet. Hopefully you've received yours if you already ordered it. But they are so pretty. I say this every month. I know I sound like a broken record, but they just keep getting better and better, in my opinion. I love these colors. If you love bright colors, then you need to get these kits because they are just so pretty. And to me, they make creating very easy because everything coordinates together. The hardest part is deciding what, hello, did you see those bobby pins in my hair? How embarrassing. Yeah, apparently I didn't take my hair down from the gym the other day. It's still up in a mess. Anyway, sorry about that head photo bomb again. But, um, yeah, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, it makes, it makes creating a layout easier because everything coordinates together. And the hardest part is looking at all of it and saying, where do I start? That really is the hardest part because everything is so pretty and you want to use all of it at the same time and you can't. So you just have to pick and choose. And so that's the hardest part for me anyway. Okay, so I'm going to start to embellish here and there's so many things I want to use, like I just said, but some of it is so colorful that it's just, it winds up being too much. So I just kind of have to play around with different things. This is one of the Project Life Beggy, Beggy, oh my goodness, Becky Higgins chipboard pack and they're the cutest little little uh, it's almost hand-drawn doodle type uh, pictures and images and then these are some of Kim's from the exclusive die cut pack and everything looks good to me when I put it on there it just depends on the color I love that good life I love that that uh, chipboard piece there for, not chipboard, I'm sorry, wood veneer. That's from Paige Evans' Fancy Free. I love the way that looked. So I just took some time. I had to turn the camera off because I just kept being indecisive. So I finally decided on this right here. I chose some of the flowers from Kim's Cut Files. Or I keep saying the wrong thing. Die cuts. And I'm going to just kind of sporadically place those around the hearts. And I definitely want to use that Oh What Fun banner because I like the fact that it's black and white it sort of draws out the black and white from the pictures and I think the flowers work because they are solids and the hearts are multicolored so it kind of breaks up the uh, the multicolor in the hearts I don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me these are some of the puffy stickers again Kim Watson designed those they're exclusive only to the hip kits and they are so cute. They they match the papers. They match the die cuts. Everything goes together. So I'm going to add some pop dots. And again, I know I say this all the time. I feel like I'm saying the same things in my videos every week. But the pop dots give great dimension. They create a little shadow. They give you the opportunity to tuck things underneath. Like uh, thread die cuts. Like I'm doing here with this little cluster. And it just makes it look a little more dimensional. I mean, it, it, I don't know how else to describe it. I just like the way it looks. Gives it some height. And the die cuts this month are really fun. There are a lot of different ones. These hearts, there's so many things you could do with a heart. You could draw uh, with your sketch pens. You could make one big heart. You could actually create sort of like what I've done here, but you could weld the hearts together. You could back all of those spots with different pattern papers. You could cut this in white cardstock and color them with the color kit goodies. So many things to do. I just cut mine simple from pattern paper here. And if you've got a colorful pattern paper like this one, you know, the work is done for you. So there are different lots of different things that you can do with the cut files and I'm gonna settle on enjoy and my title is gonna be super boring it's gonna be enjoy this but I really wanted to use that enjoy and um, 
I do add a couple more little bits and pieces from the die cut pack. There was a smaller die cut pack, I believe the Project Life kit, don't quote me on that, I can't remember, but there were, there was the big one and then there was the smaller one. And I believe Kimberly designed that pack. They're super cute. Again, they match everything. I love this little scallop piece. I had to cut it in half and use it on the two pictures there. You get glitter thickers. These exclusive stickers, I'm falling in love every month with the exclusive thicker, or they're not thickers, puffy, puffy alpha stickers. The quality is fantastic. They stick so well. And look how many you get. There are a ton of them. This font is super cool. I love the green. Last month we got the um, aqua. The month before that, I think it was the navy. I just hope we get more of them every month because they are fabulous. So my basic design is finished. I'm going to come in with a little bit of journaling and then I am going to finish off with some black splatters and that is some shimmer spray from my stash. And it's called Night Moves and it's just your basic black spray. So I hope you enjoyed watching this come together. I had a really fun time making it. Um, I would love to see what all of you guys are making with your July kits. So I'm going to be stalking the member forum to see what you guys upload. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits, any of the products, any of the uh, techniques that I did today, anything. Um, this was really, really fun to make and I can't wait to get started on my next layout. So I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.